Well, for every 800 babies born, one will have Down syndrome. And over the years, huge strides have been made in research, which has actually led to the improvements in the life expectancy. However, with new research, studies are now showing something a little bit alarming. Doctors have actually found that there is a link between those living with Down syndrome and Alzheimer's after the age of 40. So here to tell us more about a new study, we have Dr. Dana Jennings. And here to tell us their personal story is Larry Proctor, who has Down syndrome, and his mother, Colleen. Welcome to all of you. Thank, Thank you. you for being Thank here. Thank you so much. And we'll get to the two of you here in just a moment. But Dr. Jennings, I actually want to start with you. There's actually a link between Down syndrome and people with Alzheimer's disease. What is that link and how did you find it? So it's actually been known for several years that individuals with Down syndrome are at an increased risk for um, developing Alzheimer's disease. And um, in Alzheimer's disease, actually people um, develop a protein or sort of accumulate a protein in their brain, which is called amyloid. And that's also been seen in individuals with Down syndrome. And as, as individuals with Down syndrome age, we've been able to um, evaluate their aging process. And it turns out that they develop this amyloid in their brain at a much earlier age than the general population and have a much higher propensity to develop um, Alzheimer's disease. Wow. So what actually sparked the new study? So I just want to first say that I'm um, a, a neurologist, and I'm from the Institute for Neurodegenerative Disorders, which focuses really on um, neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's disease, mm -hmm. and um, developing tests to help us um, detect early changes in the brain that may that may indicate an early sign of Alzheimer's disease. And this study was really uh, brought on because uh, the technology has improved so much over the last several years. And now we actually have imaging tests that can help us detect early changes and detect that amyloid in the brain. Wow. So um, it's really an exciting time for Alzheimer's Ooh. disease, and it's really an exciting time for individuals with Down syndrome to become a, a part of this. Which study. is perfect. Larry, let's bring you in. Why did you want to do the research? I mean, what was, uh, what was it about this particular program that you wanted to join up with them? My oldest sister, you give me an add in. Mm -hmm. Went to my mom mm -hmm. to call the number, oh. and I like to pay you good money. Right. And <laughs> well, he's like me. Listen, he says they're gonna pay you a little bit of good money, and I want to make a little bit of extra cash, which is great. But you're learning a lot with this research, and I'm sure you're helping other people with Down syndrome over the age of 40, right? Yes. And Colleen, how? I mean, for you as a mom, I mean, why did you want to encourage him to do this? Well, I didn't really need to encourage him because Larry was always ready to jump in to a project. But when my daughter called me and saw the ad, we, we did call in. And I used to think I knew a lot about Down syndrome, mm -hmm. but I'm finding out more all the time. And for a long time, I did not realize that Larry has five times more, uh, more likely to get Alzheimer's than I am. Mm. Although I figure I'm certainly in the running. Um, <laughs> But I want Look to at Larry. So, Mom, no, Mom, okay. you're fine. Uh, no, we're going down together. No. But um, not I, same time. <laughs> <laughs> I five, Larry. My kind of guy. I know that's right. <laughs> but I just think anything we can learn not only helps people with Down syndrome, but helps everybody. And we're all potential victims of Alzheimer's. So uh, this was an easy study. Mm -hmm. It was painless. Uh, we went down for a couple of days. Larry had some good physical exams with Dr. Jennings and and. Uh, did the test, which is painless and non-invasive. Dr. Jennings, I mean, what is the overall goal of this research, though? I mean, I'm sure it is to, t to help folks with Down syndrome and to, to make sure you give them a better life, but I mean, what would you say is the overall goal? I think the overall goal of this study really is, first of all, to determine if everybody with Down syndrome is ultimately going to go on to develop Alzheimer's disease. First of all, that's a question that really needs to be addressed. Mm -hmm. yes. And secondly, if we can identify that as early as possible, because the earlier we detect it, the more chance there is to make a difference in terms of development of treatments and initiating treatments at a stage that it can make a big difference. Mm -hmm. What about the requirements for this particular study? What are they? So it's really limited to adults with Down syndrome. So individuals that are greater than 40 years old, 40 years old or older, and um, as Colleen said, it's actually you know pretty easy to participate. Yes, and very. Um, I would encourage everybody that's interested to to participate or, or let people know about it. For parents who might watch this segment and have a child with Down syndrome, I mean, what's the message to them? I think this is a chance to make a big difference, not Absolutely. just for individuals with all or with um, Down syndrome, but to the population at, as a whole mm -hmm. in terms of early detection of Alzheimer's disease. 
and uh, this is an imaging study that's being developed. This is one of, interestingly, this is one of the few places in the world where it's being done. And so I yeah. think in Connecticut, wow. we can really make a big difference. It's exciting to see you so excited about it as a doctor. It's got to be with all this cutting edge technology that you have access to now and able to use. Uh, Colleen, for you though, what is the message for parents who are watching from a mom? Well, I think anything we can learn about our sons and daughters is important for us. And while this may not directly affect him, it will affect mm -hmm. people for years to come. Mm -hmm. And so I think that just the added information is terribly important. And Larry, the platform is yours. You go for it. I mean, what is the message for somebody who may have Down syndrome from you? What would you like them to know? You want to know, we got the test is great. It give me all, all my blood. Mm -hmm. It did take some of your blood. blood. That's true. <laughs> Excuse me. Mm -hmm. Mom. <laughs> mm -hmm. And we have free come over 40. Mm -hmm. Or we're not. That's fine. <laughs> I place call. This number. Well. And we're going to have that number up there. And a pretty happy birthday to you because I think you said you're turning what again? 46. 46, believe it or not. I want whatever this guy's having over here. <laughs> Adults with Down syndrome are invited to participate. If you'd like more information on the Institute for Neurodegenerative Disorders, the information is on your screen. Or just come to our website. We will certainly have the link there for you. Again, once again, that information right there for you. Certainly participate if you certainly can there. Dr. Jennings, Larry, Colleen, thank you all so much thank for being here. Thank you very much. Here. Thank we you. We appreciate you. you.